Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a controversial topic in the world of MMOs, and that is multiboxing. More specifically, how to do it in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen using a tool called Sandboxy Plus. Whether you're looking to control multiple characters for efficiency, self-sufficiency, or just to challenge yourself, this guide will walk you through the setup, as well as go over some important etiquette around multiboxing, because while it's allowed, it's not always welcomed in every situation. First off, what is multiboxing? Multiboxing is when one player controls multiple game accounts, usually on the same computer. This can be done by either manually multiboxing, where you are switching between game clients and controlling each character manually, or by what's called broadcasting, where you mirror all of your inputs to all of your game accounts. Now, some games do not allow broadcasting, so do check the terms of service for the game you're multiboxing. And now on to the setup. I'm going to be showing you how to set it up for Steam accounts. If you have a older account from before the Steam beta went live, you can either have multiple installs or you can still use Sandboxy to run multiple instances of your one install. The setup will be similar, just point it towards that install instead. So first things first, we're going to install Sandboxy Plus. Um, I've used it, it works. I will have a link to it in the description. Um, on this screen, the one that I run is this top one, X64 for Windows 11. That's what I am running. I'm going to run Sandboxy Plus for Windows 11. Once you download it, just run it and click yes, except all the defaults are fine. Um, if you would like to um, look at them closer and make your own decisions, you're welcome to do so. The defaults are fine for me, so I'm just accepting all the defaults and moving through. It'll take a second for it to install. And then uh, you can leave this checkbox checked and launch Sandboxy Plus. Once Sandboxy Plus launches, you should see something similar to this screen here. Uh, it does have a default box installed, but we're going to create a new one. Hit create new box. And you can call it something um, specific to Pantheon you want. I'm going to call it Steam 2 um, because the way I'm setting it up, it will actually work for any Steam game, not just Pantheon. I'm also going to select that it is a standard sandbox and hit next. Hit finish. Uh, now we need to tell it that it's allowed to run Steam. So we, we can. Um, Go into the sandbox options, go to resource access, add a folder, browse for the folder, and this is where you will browse for your Steam folder. If you install it in the default location, that will be C program files x86 Steam. And then hit OK. From here, you can right click and run, run program. And then you're going to browse to your Steam executable. I run as the UAC administrator. That will help for if it needs to do any configuration while running. But that'll be the same. It's going to be in your C, x86, and then Steam. And then you're looking for Steam.exe and open that and then hit OK. You'll get a UAC prompt if uh, you did check that box and then Steam will run. You can also have your initial version of Steam also running. Your initial client can run outside of a sandbox um, and then each additional one needs to run inside a sandbox. So we'll wait for Steam to open. And here's where I have created myself a second account. So you do need to have multiple Steam accounts to run multiple instances of Pantheon. So if you don't have an alter one, uh, alternate one, you can click add account um, and you just need to set up a brand new one. This account will need to own a copy of Pantheon but you'll see that it sees the entire library here. 
And then it's just as simple as run Pantheon from your sandboxed Steam client, which you can see is running my LimeMinder2 account, which I will move that out of the way. And run Pantheon. Oh. Uh, Steam. Run Pantheon on your main game client. When you have Pantheon open in both of them, you'll be able to see that I've already started messing around with multiboxing. This account will have uh, my two new characters. And then I can go back to my other account once it finishes opening. Here it is. And you'll see this one has all the rest of my characters. So I can enter world on this character. I can enter world on this character. And I'm just alt tabbing between the two. One thing to note is you are running two entire game clients on your computer so you will need a little bit more cpu than normal a little bit more graphics power than normal a little bit more memory than normal and in order to have a smooth experience you may want to turn down your settings but um i'm now in the in the game on this character i switch over to this character uh this character has run back to the bank that's all it is for the setup for pantheon now another thing that you can do in sandboxy if you would like to run the um, parser the parser will need to be inside the sandbox that you want to parse um, you can run multiple copies of the parser this way so it would be the same thing resource access add the folder um, i put the folder under a c games and then Pantheon parser, um, and I hit okay. And then you do the same thing, right click, run, run program, and then uh, UAC browse, C. In my case, I put it into a, again, games folder, Pantheon parser, and then run your parser. This will run it inside the sandbox. And because it's inside the sandbox, it can see the client that's inside the sandbox and it will get the DPS parsing of that client. If you want more information on how to install a DPS parser or what it is, then um, you can check out my other video. I will also put a link to that in the description. Another quick note is that once you've done the long way in run program and browsed for it, you could just hit the drop down and run it this way going forward so you don't have to browse for it every time also if you have more than two accounts you can continue and do these same steps again for each additional account that you'd like to run again you will need another steam account and need to purchase the game for that steam account for each additional account and now let's talk about some etiquette really quick now that you know how to multibox uh when should you multibox so there's a social side to multiboxing that you should be aware of uh it's not always socially acceptable to be multiboxing some content be aware of when you're multiboxing where you're multiboxing and who it's interacting with so if you are multiboxing by just loving a new character and you have a, one of your characters there buffing you that's fine no one's going to be bothered by that if you are camping a spawn that uh just having two characters is helping out, but in general, people can camp it with one. Also fine. You're not taking up any more space than you would if you were running one account. Are you running a whole party and taking up the most common camp spot during a busy time? That's where you're gonna run into some issues where people are gonna be uh, frustrated with you. If it's really busy and, and all the camps are full and you're taking one of them up, that means you as one person are taking the spot of six people that could be using that spot so that is when you're going to run into problems um, generally the rule of thumb is are you taking the spot of more than one person and preventing other people from doing that instead if the answer is no you're probably fine if the answer is yes i would i would edge towards doing something different at the time if it's off the peak time so there's not a lot of people playing right now maybe it would be okay to run a party of six 
the golden rule is just be respectful. If you're negatively impacting other players, people are going to be upset. If you are not negatively impacting other players, most people don't won't care or even will appreciate you being there to throw a buff or two as they're running by. And that's it. Now you're ready to multi-box in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Remember, multi-box responsibly. Follow the rules and more importantly, have fun. Did this video help you? If so, like and subscribe for more Pantheon content. Also, leave a comment below. Do you plan to multi-box? And if you are, what are you going to do? If you want to know how to set up a parser in Pantheon, you can check out my other video, link in the description. Until next time, have a good one.